All right, Copper Fam, here's the Thursday edition of the transfers. Transfer, transfers, nah, transfers. These transfers bad and bougie. Cooking up dope for the Uzi. Hey, these he transfers bad and bougie. bougie. <laughs> Cooking up dope with that Uzi. Hey! <coughs> All right, that's the new song, it seems. We are here. Transfer, transfers, rumors, rumors. Let's kick off with some comments from last week's show. Twin Kings 31 says, Roots to the Lakers confirm. Wicked. Apparently, I look like, um, what's that guy that plays for the, that plays for the Warriors? You're asking me. Next one. Wonderka Dembele or Wonder Man Joe Allen to Barca? Mm. Them banter comments that you're like, ha 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 ha. Ty Austin Fight TV, why should you go to that video club Barcelona? He can't win everything if he comes to the mighty Arsenal. He can even become the best player if he managed by Wenger. Just look at Ben Sonogo and Chamak. You know what? Sometimes his banter just don't get me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm just being cynical today. Uh, I don't think it's good. <laughs> Your bent is bad as snoozy. <laughs> Let's kick off with some rumors of Bamiyang to Tianjin Kuanjian. <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> He's a target for Liverpool, but they say that Tianjin and Kuanjian will bid 70 million for the 28 year old. Fam, a man real talk might be going to Tianjin and yeah, Kuanjian. I, I doubt it, man. You don't think he'll be going no, there? You can't be talking like, oh, my granddad always wanted to play for Real Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> then, oh, where you going, son? Oh, Tianjin was wrong. It's just like, nah, that's a Timsey, man. That's not for Abamyang. That just doesn't make sense. If this guy is money hungry, nah, he man. wants to go, does it prove that Chinese League it is? An attractive prospect for people. If it's only if I've always a rumor, but it's it's been everywhere. This rumor. Money's attractive to be fair. So if you if you idolize money as an individual, then you're always going to go to a place where you're making a lot of money. I don't think Aubameyang is that type of player. I don't know him personally. I met him one time. We're sort of friends. But um, he seems cool. He's like a sort of cool guy. He doesn't seem like a, a person that's just going to go for money. He just seems like he loves football. The fact that he can come down and do a, a strike night event shows he has a genuine love for football because he was taking it serious. He was quite upset when he was missing. Um, a lot of players pulled out of that situation. So off the back of that small interaction I had with him and knowledge, I don't think this is going to happen. Does it show that the Chinese 100%. league is still trying to muster in? Will, will they be grabbing more players, do you reckon? Um, a few more big names. If someone like Aubameyang goes, a few more might follow and go, all right, you know what, this guy's doing it for the money. Let me do it for them. Let me just, you know, I'll do it as well. Uh, Oscar's gone over there. You've seen the trouble he's got into. I think those players are going to be reporting back to the players, such as Aubameyang and so on and so forth. And I still think that's the retirement home for a little while. Uh, me personally, you can't get me to go over to China. Or can you? Or can you? <laughs> Maybe you'll see us in China soon. All right, what do you guys think? Chinese Super League. Are they going to be able to muscle in on big European transfers? Will Aubameyang be going there, or will we see him under the lights of Anfield, where obviously everybody wants to see him? What are you saying, Paul? They're saying that a man like Alexis Sanchez will go for a fee of around 50 million because of his desire to play under Pep Guardiola, and this is from The Guardian. So we're not talking about where the sun don't shine, or the daily look at myself. We're talking about The Guardian. A bit more Credible. A bit more credible. Alexis Sanchez reminds me of Patrick Vieira every year going to Real Madrid, and that is how jarred I am getting of this whole story. Um, how much do I read into it? You know, I don't know. Arsenal finishing fifth. Like the facts are this: Arsenal are not in the Champions League. Alexis Sanchez is a big player. I imagine he wants to play Champions League, play competitive football. Are Arsenal now in this day and age, 2017, gonna allow Alexis Sanchez to go to Manchester City? I don't think so. Would we allow Alexis Sanchez to go abroad to maybe a Juventus or something? Possibly. So apparently Sanchez wants to stay in this country, but at the end of the day, he's under contract, bro. So do you think he's going or not? I don't, I don't know anymore. I, where, 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 was any photographed in the new kit? He was photographed. Does in that the new even kit. matter? Nah, from Van Persie to Patrick Vieira, they've all been photographed in the new kit. I just think it's more down to do with Arsenal's intent. Arsenal sold Patrick Vieira, didn't ever replace him, and that season was one of arguably was the catalyst towards a really, really poor decade or so for Arsenal or just under a decade when Van Persie left again we didn't really replace him Olivier Giroud amongst various others we're in a different age as Arsenal fans now we see Ertzel coming we see the Sanchez coming we see Petr Cech coming we see big players coming I genuinely feel Sanchez is sitting there saying impress me if you don't do nothing have you man shown intent so far but who has has anyone showed intent it's, it's kind of like teasing each other right now will you then get Mbappe if Sanchez goes um, ease up fees is that a good switch? My yeah and Sanchez. no. Yeah and no. Yeah and no. Yeah, for the simple fact that he's a young player. Um, we don't have to worry about a player getting towards the end of their career and thinking, I want to win more things. He's young, he's got loads of time. But um, 
I mean, I just, I like myself, like every Arsenal fan, like Tim Z will tell you, we just want to see Sanchez stay at the club. That will be the biggest signing we pull off this summer, if any signing at all. I think 50 million, absolute fucking bargain if he does for that money. As we do carry on with Arsenal, Poet, mm -hmm. we've got rumours here that Monaco winger Thomas Lemar, 21, is going to roll through. Apparently, a bit of 30 million has been turned down. So, you're in for Riyad Mahrez as well. I think they'll both be useful additions to Arsenal. What I think we've got to focus on doing this time round is sort of building ourselves for a potential loss of Alexis Sanchez next season and getting in players that could possibly take his place this coming season. And fourth, I think 21 years old, Mr Lamar is a good player. I saw him against Spurs in the Champions League game. He's a very, very good player. And obviously we all know what uh, Mahrez can do. And let's be honest, if we don't get a striker, would I be totally disappointed if Sanchez moving up top and then like a Lamar is, and Mahrez playing in behind him with Ertzul beside them? Not at all. I think if you get players like that in the club, you're talking about potentially winning the Premier League. Because that's what I think we were missing. Just that cutting edge up front. Mm. So more players that are more dynamic and score more goals. Pro Arsenal can compete for the league. There you go, Arsenal fans. Riyad Mahrez or man like Thomas Lamar. Whenever I hear the name Lamar, I think of Lamar. Man like Costas Manolas. Apparently Chelsea can hijack sentence in Petersburg's 26 million move for Costas Manolas. Chelsea got away from that Van Dijk. Do you reckon? Bro, imagine they're playing one competitive game a week. That means yeah. Cahill and David yeah. Luiz were not exposed for the, the defenders that they actually are. I believe in Espelicueta. I do not believe in Gary Cahill at all. His parents don't believe in him. He's done bloody well coming from Bolton and winning Champions League and all that other palaver. He is just like a really... He's a poor man's John Terry. All I'm saying is I think Chelsea playing two competitive games a week, you're going to see, we're going to see how good that back line is. So, yeah, bring in a defender, man. Fabio Barini to AC oh Milan. Oh my God. This guy's just stealing a career. Do you know when I saw this? I, I don't saw understand. Like this, I said, this is a lie. Man's, how has man gone from Sunderland to AC Milan? I reckon he, he has like some, he yeah. must have news on someone. His cousin. Like he has some information on Berlusconi and he's like, nah, you got, I'm coming. I reckon he called them and he said, yo, I'm signing for you. And they were like, okay, see, 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 see. <laughs> the day has come. What happened? Barini comes home. Oh no. And we can't do nothing about it purely because he's got secrets on him. He sometimes does score, but. <laughs> we're a bit baffled by that, to be fair, in terms of Fabio Barini. We saw how excellent he was at Liverpool. Um, obviously, at Sunderland a bit better, but how is he doing this? How is he now going from Sunderland to AC Milan? His cousin. Is it his cousin? Has he got news on someone? Anyone in Italy? Are, are, AC Milan fans, are you happy with Fabio Barini no. coming? Is he a good depth signing? Would you, was you happy with him? <laughs> no, I was I not happy with Milan him. Happy with him then. As we do move on to Real Madrid, apparently going to sell Bale because he wants to go to Manchester United again. Let's just move to the next story. <laughs> no, but, but, but it's, oh, man. it's a rumour, you've got to discuss this. Alright, let's make up another rumour. I heard Messi <laughs> is going to Sunderland to play left back. No, but, and they're bringing back Julio Alcantara. No, Alcan but they keep right saying back. that they want him. So what? Do you know what? I'm going to be honest with you guys because I love you. The chairman's come out and said BBC go nowhere. BBC stands for Benzema, Bell and Cristiano. So let's just... Bye, Daily Star. There's nothing starish about you at all. Oh, I don't even want to see you on a daily. Is, Next. is there any truth in that? Leave any comments. Gareth Bale at United. Get I'm, out. I don't care if you're trying to extend the show. No one cares. <laughs> it's not going to happen. All right. Um, man like Nathan Ake. Man Jeez. like Nathan Ake. The man them 20 mil. <laughs> 20 mil. And he's gone. He's well, going to board party permanently. permanently. <clears throat> to be fair. Yeah. That's, 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 that's a decent amount. What are you doing? That's a decent amount of money for Nathan Ake. Trust me. Nathan <laughs> Ake is alright, but 20 million is a bit excessive. 20 mil? That's 20 mil. The market's gone mad. If that happens, I'm done. I won't even buy a football manager no more. I can't do any type of headaches. I've got a headache. I can't even laugh. 20 mil. Oh. 20 mil! No, Ooh, it's stop. Wait, they put that key for 20 mil. Alex Shiro should be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> he went from 15 mil in 96, 97, which was a world record <laughs> fee. And now Nathan Ake has gone for 20 mil. The Bro, Bournemouth. The Bournemouth. <laughs> <laughs> Where did Bournemouth even get 20 mil from? <laughs> what I don't understand though is why Chelsea selling him? That's that's true. He's, he right. well just, he's worth 20 mil. He might as well just keep him at the back. Keep on the bench. I would have kept him at Chelsea. Yeah, 100%. I think he's very good. He showed a lot of promise last season. Whenever you watched him, he was Bournemouth's, one of Bournemouth's best players. So, but still, I just, there's something weird about this whole like, Barini's gone to AC Milan. <laughs> Nathan Ake is just signed for 20 million by Bournemouth. Like, what the hell? What next, man? It's all very mad. What do you guys reckon? Nathan Ake 
Is it a silly signing? Is it mad? Has the world gone mad? Barini getting, Barini going to Milan. Like it's all, it's, it's just all gone. I don't want to say tits up, but this I just, just feel like the weird. world, flat earth. <laughs> we got stuff done. <laughs> this guy's got little dreads. <laughs> <It's just laughs> uh, Bertrand Chori has joined Leon for 8.8 .8 million pounds from Chelsea. That's what I'm saying though. That These makes me man, happy though. Sign man. Just that, decent prices. Up, just that means Leon might have to sell business, Lacazette man. though. You know what? I like Bertrand Chori. That means they might sell Lacazette. Like he's a good player. So oh, shit. Might be a replacement for Lacazette. Are you saying these are those little moves that trigger the big moves? Last night, I um, Arsenal did get two bids rejected for Lacazette and Lamar, but... I had you, man, bid it like... 30 mil. I said, they want 44. 30, 44, and you're like, mm, we'll give you 30. <laughs> what is this so, thing with Arsenal? How can Leon say, we want 44 mil, match what Atletico Madrid had, and you can have him? And then we say, you know what, we're going to bid 30 mil. <laughs> This just doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Mohamed Salah, obviously we spoke about him, but why not speak about him again? Mo Salah, signed for Liverpool. It's confirmed. I think last week we were like on the verge of confirming. It's confirmed. Mo Salah is at Liverpool, taking all the photos on the social media. I think for us, good signing, very pacey. With Mane, maybe get Aubameyang as well. We're looking decent. Who's going to China? Who? Nothing. I shut up, you're a dickhead. <laughs> Bafetembi Gomis has gone to Galatasaray. I think <laughs> I think he will do well in Turkey. He's <laughs> yeah, a fucking idiot. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Any fans um, from Turkey, are you happy to see him at your club? Fam, my head hurts, fam. <laughs> but it's okay, guys. This laptop's been keeping this alive. We want to shout out the laptop. <laughs> shout out to the laptop. <laughs> 20, <laughs> 20 mil. 20 mil. Nathan, I get 20 mil. Nathan, does it look up in there somebody bougie? <laughs> One from Timzy. Tammy Abraham apparently is going to join Swansea alone. <laughs> Back page news. <laughs> You were about to say it right at the end of the show. By the way, tell me, Abraham. Everyone, you. stop the press, stop the video. <laughs> <laughs> Abraham does one day. <laughs> the office stands <laughs> up, <laughs> flares. <laughs> Abraham. <laughs> All right, guys. We are at the end of the show. <laughs> Have an amazing day. That was us transferring. <laughs> Join us next week on Thursday. And see you on Monday, of course. Let's <laughs> shoot <through> Mo Salah. <laughs> <laughs> Copper fam, also, we do want you to send us your video questions so we can use it in comments below. So anything you want to ask us at Copper90, send in a little video. Ask us whatever you want. Hashtag Ask Poet Vuj. Easy. Peasy, a lemon, squeezy. Hold up. Get wrapped with you. I'm gonna get wrapped with you.